Hello and welcome to Grand Theft Auto Online. Eric and Twins Twain here. How you doing, everybody? We're on episode 31. Last episode was a short one. It was the introduction of the Los Santos Tuners update. Um, it was supposed to be episode 30 with my daughter Kirsten, but uh, I didn't know about this update coming up, so that's why that one's been kind of pushed back and. Some other things have come up since then, but Kirsten will be on eventually on the channel. Just a matter of timing and how well behaved the kids have been because they've been little buttheads lately, but I digress. Mostly it's it's uh, mostly it's just been uh, timing and all that stuff. So We are in the game. We are going to buy the new auto shop. I went ahead, I, got, I splurged, I got some shark money to help out because I really don't want to give up any of the cars in my fleet and I really have no means to and none of them honestly are going to cost that much or I'm not going to get that much in selling them so I kind of want to do this the update's pretty cool and um, you can do the missions on your own so that's what we're going to do so I was thinking about it even though the payouts suck but I'm going to go ahead and do it just because it's something added to the channel we got something new coming and I'm actually looking forward to this um, I made one change to my to my business here since the last time you guys were in. Besides changing it to my real business name, Hembry Web Media Design LLC, I hired a new assistant. I got the dude now. What's up, dude? Just kind of change it up a little bit. We'll probably eventually bring the chick back. I think my uh, mechanic, the chick mechanic, likes me more anyway. So whatever it is. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and buy our own auto shop. So let's go down here. Foreclosures, Maze Bank. We're going to max it out. I want to do everything on it. As far as what we want. I want it near where we're at. I want it centralized of everything we have. Which would be the Burton setup. Which is near where the, the um, items are warehouses for going after antiquities and all that stuff. I moved that warehouse up here somewhere. My garage for my cars, my ex my exports and imports are down here by Grove Street. So I could technically get that one if I wanted. But I kinda want it centralized because I got a feeling we're gonna be doing a lot of running around. So I'm gonna go get the best one. I'm gonna get Burton. We got the money to splurge. We're going to do it. Now, the style. I've been thinking about this. It's going to be one of these top four. I don't want it cartoonish because I got the arcade and it's doing that already. So, I kind of like this. The darker color. Just This one looks so much like my one of my mini garages I have in my apartments. And it's the 10 garages. So, I think we want to kind of make it look professional looking. So, I'm going to go with that. The tint. We're going to go with this one. The emblem. We can use a crew one, or we can pick one of the games. I'm going to see what I like. This one's kind of a throwback to Vice City. That kind of looks cool. I kind of like... I kind of like that one, or the Vice City looking one. I think I'm going to go with that one, though. Because it's got the menacing headlights like the, the Dodge Charger I like. We are going to hire both staff members. And then the extras, I'm going to do the car left. I'm not going to buy the personal quarters. And so it's going to cost us $3.78 million. So that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and buy. And we're going to set the waypoint. And we're going to go. We're going to go to it. That leaves us with $4,789,000. $4,789,000. So we got lots of money, so I got extra money to buy other things, which I think I'm going to get a couple vehicles I've been wanting to get. Yeah, see, it says there's only that stack of cash in there, but that's not true. There's lots of money. Looks like I got $5,000 I need to... Oh, that's because I did a challenge. There was a fall from the sky for so many feet until you open your parachute and I finished third. So I gotta get some money put in the bank for that. Got 5,000. So let's do that. 
Go to my maid's bank. Go to the bank, my money. Because I don't want to get mugged. Somebody tried sneaking up on me before I started the episode and I shot him. I ran off before they could get me. Okay, whatever, dude. So let's go to garage. And we'll go and head over to the new auto shop. Meet the new characters. I did get an email from one of them. Um, the guy with the afro, that was the name of the hairstyle I was trying to figure out in the last episode. The funky afro type hairdo with the glasses. He sent me a text message, which we'll read here shortly before we head over. KDJ is his name. He says, yo, it's K Moody Man. He's one of the DJs in the, uh, the locker room at the uh, at the diamond uh, remember if you're serious about going into business with me and Sess get yourself an auto shop well we just did that so we're on our way as you can see I changed oh. what up though little birdie told me you got a mod shop we in business fool come on through okay so that's moody uh, as you can see I changed the, the, the banshee the viper um, originally I had it pimped out by Benny and I, I it kind of just grew off of me. I didn't like the that like I wanted the the original sleek look of the Viper, so I just sold it and then I rebought it just to stock mode without Benny's ad adds to it. Uh, but I did upgrade EMS upgrades to everything else, um, the engines EMS four and so it still runs fast as hell, just not really fast like it used to. I just want that classic Viper look on the Banshee, and she's just, yeah. Okay, we need to go. Where is my auto shop? Should be on there. Nightclub, Madrazo, Arena Workshop. Gerald Music Locker, auto shop. Here we go. It's not too far from here, it's about a mile, so... That's why I picked this location, because it's centralized with all my other businesses and aspects. I mean, you got my office right here, my apartment across the street from here. Uh, down the road here from the auto shop is my arcade. You got the, the warehouse for all the, uh, the antiquities and all that. And then, of course, the nightclub. The only one that's not localized around here is the, um, the auto shop, the car shop which is down on Grove Street, so. We're just gonna head over to our new auto shop and we're gonna get this thing going here. Hope everybody's doing good. Okay, so there, ooh. That was not good. I think I gotta turn Do I turn in here? Yep. Okay, so here's the entrance. Enter your auto shop. All right, here we go. place looks pretty good this will do shit this will do I could do my thing in here where's our partner at I don't know we should make ourselves all the crazy shit I mean girl take all this shit off you a bad motherfucker you a bad motherfucker <laughs> Eh, <laughs> eh. 
Damn. Yep. <laughs> What's up? So what do you think? You were with Mimi, right? At the comment. Yep. You don't look like much of a driver to me. You heard what she said. You look like a hawk. <laughs> this kid, baby. I've seen this girl turn a tied V6 into a red hot killer, baby. And I don't even want to tell you what she did to this kid by an ain't. She also knows people. If she's saying she don't like what the fuck she see, I'm sorry, motherfucker. But y'all gonna have to show us something special, you dig? You obviously didn't see the red viper outside. One time. You saw us in at the meet. Get it out the impound lot and bring it back here. If you is what you say you is, it should be easy. If it ain't, this little business arrangements we got between us all, it's over before you get started. Don't be in this bitch. I'm wasting my motherfucking time. We'll see you back here. Don't be too quick. The girl got some body work. To do. <laughs> oh, do I now? Oh, baby, that too. <laughs> but I only use it for very special occasions. So they just called me a bitch for, they don't know me, and they said, you're a bitch, and they're like, you don't know my driving. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Okay. Yeah, let's go get her car. I'll show this B-word what's going on. So we gotta go get her car out of impound, which is across the way over in Gant, um, not Ganton, I'm thinking of GT San Andreas. It's over by Grove Street. Across from the car park. Remember, just a little friendly test. The station gonna be locked down tight. Let's see what you can do. Okay, we're gonna head over there and get her car. And yes, I am going to use my or try to, hopefully. Hey, you better believe it's a motherfucking test you wanna pass. Since I've been in town. My eyes open to all kind of shit. I got all kind of business coming my way. Los Santos, shit full of opportunities for an outsider. Y'all people don't trust your own, but everybody trusts me. And that's why I need you. I got to keep my rep clean, always have, always will. From the outside, I look legit like a motherfucker. But when you know, you know. And that's when I get it on, baby. Long as real G sees me as a solid motherfucker who holds it down, they gonna keep sending work my way. Which means more work for you motherfuckers and more cash for us. Oh, we got some serious paychecks coming as soon as I get my motherfucking ride. Okay, I was gonna say we have to go over by Grove Street, but they're making us go to this other one. So the one, the video I was watching, the uh, it was over, the it was the professional was doing it. His was over by Grove Street. So since mine is over here in Burton, we're over here on Vespucci, or by Vespucci in North Rockford. So we need to break in somehow. So what I was going to say is I'm going to attempt to use my abilities, and I'm going to... I can't use it. Are you kidding me? Wow. They won't let me do it. Well, I guess I'm going to have to... How am I going to get that? I'm going to see if I can go down there and climb the wall. Can I climb the wall? That's going to be... That's going to be a no. Wow. Holy crap. They did not give me a snowball's chance. Now I got to go way the fuck back this way.
Let's see if I can snipe them from here. There's a cop right there. Should be a cop, like right by the car. Yeah, right there. Don't worry about that. I'll be able to lose them. I'll just park right in here. That's the best part, is just hide in the, uh, one of these. As long as you're not seen, they can't, they won't come in here. Yep, see? Lost him. Easy peasy. Hold on, let me make sure my... Yep, had my, had my mic still on. Okay. And I don't think the car was damaged too bad. Maybe a couple spot, a couple dents, but nothing major. Not my favorite car. But I've seen worse. All right. So we got their car back, so that's a good thing. And I think there's gonna be something coming up here they're gonna make me do, which is common with criminals. I don't condone it, but it's something that's gonna be shown in this video. A professional mentioned it in a video he was covering for this. Um, it's basically a test from the two guys were two the guy and the girl we're working with. A test to me to show that I'm not a narc, I'm not an undercover cop. So I think that's coming up right here. It might be in the next mission I do with them. I'm not sure but I'm just gonna condone I'm just gonna say I don't condone it but because my character's being forced to do it, we're gonna it's gonna happen, so. Hey, baby, your car's here. Y'all did good. Come on up. Yep, this is the one. She's working on something. Yeah, this is a test to prove I'm not a yeah, narc or a cop. Thing to take care of, then we can get down to business, okay? We need to know for sure that you ain't a cop. I might have some friends down at the impound lot that you know. We got to do what we got to do to protect ourselves. Lucky for you, there's an easy way to prove it. You know what this is? Undercover or not, a cop can't do one of these. Hold up, motherfucker. Hold up, please. It's just sweet then. <laughs> what you were going to do. Okay, shit. I guess you could. You could. Well, I didn't see that part, so yeah, they they actually do that in, in gang life. Chasing each other with rocks, and I thought y'all leaving money all on the motherfucking table for me to take, but that's exactly what the fuck I'm about to do. Take that shit. The two of us put our heads together, and we came up with a plan. Banks, dealers, government, we sticking up all of them. We put the jobs on the wall. You pick one. We hit. It. With the right plan, the right car, and the right motherfucker behind the wheel, everything and anything's possible. Kenny's gonna be out finding new scores doing his thing. I'll be here fixing up the rides, working with y'all. We like fast cars and robbing motherfuckers. So we gonna get along just fine. 
Okay. Sounds by good to me. All right, so we got our car back. We've set up the business, so we got work to do. Now we can do these all solos, so that's that's a good thing. Oh, I'm holding more than five thousand dollars. Really? Okay. Oh, they paid me ten grand, ten G's. Nice. So we're gonna go ahead. Money services, Maze Bank. Ba bum 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 bum. Make it that money back. So all the money you pay, you pay. See, this is my thing. This is the thing I hate the most about this whole thing. Okay, this right here is where it all comes together. Thanks to you, we got the shop. Thanks to me, we got the team. And thanks to Kenny, we got the work. Seriously, my man can mingle like a motherfucker. He got all kinds of clients coming to him to get shit done and keep their hands clean. This here planning board gonna tell you all about that shit. Whatever he got available, we put it up here. More stuff coming down the line, too. Pay takes a little cut, but you act right, drive right, and work right, and we gonna pay you right. Just focus on one of these jobs at a time, okay? Keep it clean, and think about it before you commit. Okay, as I was gonna say, e, so of all the money we spent on the business itself, as you can see, the different the, the cuts for each job, there's three jobs, is shit. So that's one of my biggest gripes about this that that Rockstar does is they give us these new jobs we can do and we're doing them on our own and it's nice, but it still pays for shit. They make us put in our own money for all this crap and then we only get a fraction of it back, which is crap. These, especially this one right here. Uh, no, not this one. The uh, there's one where you do a fleek a bank. Um. Um, one of these, um, we eventually we're going to do a, a, a bank do a job where we hold up the fleet of banks. There's like six of them. We only get a portion of that money. I mean, there's like six different banks you should be making well over a million plus bucks, but you only make like a hundred some thousand. So it's really, it's really ridiculous. So we have super dollar deal, halt a military convoy and steal the printing plates. They're transporting. That sounds like the one that I did with Trevor and crew in the uh, story mode where we did the uh, Polito Bank Heist. So that's pretty. That's probably going to be pretty easy like that. Get the location of stolen narcotics recipe from a dealer held at an IAA facility. And then infiltrate a building, penitentiary, and assassinate several targets. So, yeah, that's. That's what's going on. So I think we're going to end the video now. We did a good job setting up the place. And then, of course, getting the um, getting the car and getting to meet uh, Moody Man and... Is it Shay? Shaz? Yeah. Whatever her name is. It's in here. There it is. Sasanta. Sasanta. Yeah. So I'll just say Sess and then in case K, Moody Man, who's right, K's not in here. Where is he? Did I go past him? Maybe I went past him. Huh. Oh, yeah, there he is. Moody Man, right there. So we're going to end this episode here. I think this place looks great. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be killer. Got some new cars. Got some new stuff. There's the... There's the car. Hi. It's one of my workers. What's in here? Nothing. So we're going to end this episode here. And next episode, we're going to start working on some of those other jobs. If you like this episode, hit that like button. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to help out with future projects, you can visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash mntwins28. You do not have to help, but any help is always greatly appreciated. Until next time, peace out.